Hiya! My name is Callie Saunders, and this past day term, I had the incredible, life-changing opportunity to study at Jerusalem University College in Israel. I actually didn't really want to go to Israel at first. I went to an informational meeting, and once I saw the price and heard about all the map work and thought about the plane ride, I thought, mm, I don't really think this is for me. But then I woke up one morning and God had laid on my heart that I should go to Israel. And so I got out of bed, walked to the bursar's office, put down my deposit, and then I called my parents and I told them I was going to Israel. So that was a fun phone call. As an English education major, I thought, how in the world is this going to apply to my life? I mean, sure, I read the Bible, but I'm not a ministry major, and I don't really care that much about history, so I was having trouble understanding how I was going to be able to practically use this in my future vocation. And that is where God showed up. We did so many incredible things that apply so directly to teaching that it really made a tremendous impact on the way that I'm going to lead my future vocation. Obviously, as an English education major, there's a huge emphasis on text. We'll spend a lot of time in a classroom reading and trying to figure out how different texts apply to our lives. So, being in Israel and figuring out how the ultimate text, God's breathed scripture, applies to our life is a really incredible opportunity, and there's a lot of good takeaways that I learned. Every day we would walk around and we would carry our Bibles with us and be able to open them up and point to where different locations happen and then we were able to use context clues to try to pinpoint exact locations. For example, when we were in the old city of Jerusalem, there's some debate about whether Jesus' tomb was in the garden tomb or at the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. But we were able to use our textual evidence to conclude that we think it's probably in the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. Using this Bible as text made it so much more applicable, and it was so fun because we were able to use context clues to figure out where things actually took place. This was a good lesson to help students understand text and different um, applications of learning by experiencing it. So I think examples are really crucial, and that's definitely something I'm going to be using a lot in my future vocation. I also think hands-on is so, 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 so important in helping kids make sense of the text for themselves. This trip also made a tremendous impact on my outlook of the global church. One Sunday, we had an opportunity to go to an Arabian evangelical church. And as we concluded the worship, um, we started singing Days of Elijah. It was sung in three different languages, and everyone in the service was dancing around, singing and celebrating the work that God had done. It was so exciting and so cool to see that the God we serve is a God to all people of all cultures. I developed so much of a better understanding for diversity and understanding that people worship in really different ways. One Friday night on Shabbat, we had an opportunity to go to the Western Wall and watch the Hasidic Jews perform their rituals. Their screaming, jumping around, dancing, and putting on a show was highly entertaining, but it also taught me a lot about diversity and understanding cultural norms. There are so many different ways that people worship and celebrate and live their lives. And it's very important, I think, to be understanding of that and to not be critical and not to think that our way is the only way. Obviously, there are some biblical things that, you know, go into that. But it did open my eyes a lot to being a little bit more open-minded and accepting of different cultures, values, and the way that they worship. I also learned a lot about stereotyping and not making any judgments. Prior to going to Israel, there had been some unrest in Jerusalem, so there was concern that there may be riots or uprisings. We didn't see anything of the sort, and the only thing that came remotely close to an argument was one day in the market when two brothers started fighting over an orange. A man came up to us in the midst of their yelling and screaming and said, Please don't think that we're all like this. We're actually very, very nice people. It was such a convicting request because it's so easy to sometimes to stereotype based on one thing that we see. But the people of Israel are so kind and I was so wrong for ever making any assumptions about their, about their behavior. This trip that I originally said wouldn't have much of an impact on my life because I want to be a teacher 
changed my life in so many ways and taught me so much about being a teacher and working with people from diverse backgrounds and understanding how to use examples to our benefit and ultimately working for the glory of God. I'm so, so thankful for the opportunity that I had to go to Israel and I know it will impact me for the rest of my life. Thanks.